it's Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie. So today I'm here with my Mary and John character arc. Can you believe we only have two more of these to go? It's insane, it's so long, it's just such a short time before we get Sherlock season four. So let's get right into this. So obviously I can't talk about any other seasons. I have to talk about just season three. So in season three, episode one, Mary and John well, we think Mary is good for John since she likes Sherlock and even John's surprised that she likes Sherlock. It's maybe the catalyst for John to think this is someone I could spend the rest of my life with because obviously she seems to like Sherlock and not a lot of people like Sherlock so it's a, it's a big deal at the time when we find out that Mary likes Sherlock because for us as fans we're like, actually, if we're not going to get John Locke, Mary's a great like substitution because she likes Sherlock and she's strong and she's a good fit for John so everyone's like yes Mary. On to episode two. She's still amazing in this episode, this is a wedding episode and it's clear that John loves her, very very clear that he loves her and um, we see in the flashback sequences in Sherlock's speech that she is the one pushing John and Sherlock to go in cases together. She wants to keep them together and again as a fan we think, yes, Mary and John, you know, if we're not going to get John Locke, at least we can get Mary and John together because she fits and she fits in with their dynamic of John and Sherlock. She fits in, it's like Mary, John and Sherlock, it works together. Then comes episode three. Mary betrays John and for anyone out there that was like, called her from the start, maybe you did if you weren't a fan of Mary from the start, but I definitely didn't call what she would do. I definitely didn't call it from the start that she would be like this. It's clear that John is not happy with her and um, we can tell that by the fake hug he gives her at Sherlock's parents place. That is 100% fake. Don't care what anyone says, you can tell it's 100% fake this hug. It's like, oh yes, is Mary Watson good enough for you? Like, eh, no. You just shot your husband's best pal and you lied to him throughout the whole time. Yeah, obviously not going to stay together. They probably will, knowing Moffat and Gatiss, they will stay together. Um, but who could actually take someone back after that? Now on to my predictions for season four. I think we are 56 or 55 days away from season four airing. So in season four, I believe that the baby that Mary is carrying will live. Therefore, there will be that family dynamic of Mary, John and the baby. Um, but I would love and hope to see that Mary and John would get divorced in the end because I think that's where this storyline and character arc of Mary is going to go. But we could be surprised by Gatiss and Moffat and they would keep them together. But I think Mary and John's relationship will put a strain on John and Sherlock's relationship because as much as Sherlock is telling John that what he did with Magnuson was for her, I think that it's going to put a strain on them and John will try and get it out of Sherlock why, like, to say something bad about Mary, but I don't think Sherlock's going to be able to because he doesn't want to disappoint John. So essentially, I'm hoping for a divorce. I'm hoping that the baby lives. I just want the baby to be alive because unless it's going to happen off camera, I don't want to see a baby die in season four. Yeah, essentially. So that's it for Mary and John's character arc, very short. But uh, join me tomorrow for another video. I'll see you then. Bye.